What is up guys? Welcome back to another Extraordinary Ones video and um, YouTube Cloud exactly mate. Um, this is gonna be a mini uh, mid lane gameplay. Um, I always mix up those names, mini, maddy, you know what I mean. But anyway, this is a marksman, a magic damage dealing marksman though, so that is why I like to play her in the mid lane. I think she has pretty decent wave clear, decent um, roams. Now, the only issue is that I've met, um, seen so far with this hero, she obviously doesn't have CC, right? Um, but that wouldn't be too much of an issue. The, is the real issue is she kind of has to go in and um, she's really, really squishy. And late game, as you can see, we do pretty decent poke early game. We can roam, pe poke people. But late game, you just don't... Um, there we go, we dodge, we heal, that's fine. We're chilling. Um, late game, you can't really jump into those fights. It's incredibly difficult. So um, yeah, that is the issue so far. But we will try to dominate early game. And uh, maybe I can even show you the bad late game. <laughs> I will likely get one shot in the late game a couple times. This is a little bit annoying. I think I will just go back here. Because we can just come back with the catapult by the time... Okay, no. Our, our team is here. I don't want my jungler to just steal this wave without me getting a part of it. Beautiful flash force onto that Sandy. Uh, one... 340 for that one. Should be a two minute cooldown, right? Yes, sir. Okay, we, we should be able to get some kills here. Bottom. This is looking pretty good. There we go. I didn't even get an assist. It seemed like I hit them, but I didn't. <laughs> Slightly out of range, I guess. Oh my god, dude, what is that damage? <laughs> what is that Arthur damage, dude? It, it really... Not sure what's going on with Arthur right now. But it seems like his ult deals a little bit too much lately. Not entirely sure. Sandy is bot, so I'll just clear this wave real quick. Before we go back... Oh my god, I'm gonna get one shot. No, I'm fine. I'm just running away, please. Leave me alone, Ram. I'm not gonna um, greed for that last little minion. We have learned our lesson in this game. The assassins will absolutely one-shot you at any stage of the game. So you gotta watch out. Oh man, Jiro is such a cool hero. I really need to get him. I'm trying my best, guys. I feel like he's one of the... Mo he's probably the most fun hero to watch. So I'm trying to get him for the YouTubes. But it is a gacha hero, so it will take some time. There we go, beautiful. I just jump back here, and we can keep chasing her. Uh, no, we can't. We can't get her. There's an enemy Rem. Ooh, that Rem played against me last game. He completely destroyed me. So um, he's a good, he's a good player. You will see. I hope he will show his strength again. He has one death so far. We're doing pretty well so far. We have our usual Toril boy. I'm just going mid. I just need to clear this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, Siren seems very broken, guys. Just saying. I've been one shot a little bit too many times by Siren. So um, I learned. There we go. This is beautiful. This is exactly what you want to do with this hero. No, come on, man. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. We got him on the max range. I think we can kill this poor guy as well. There we go. Beautiful. Four kills already. As I'm saying, man, it's it's pretty easy to get fed early game with this hero. It happens like three out of four games, I would say. Sometimes I just feed, but you, you guys know me, you know. I mean, what, what, what would be a Sherco video without some feeding? Uh, but yeah, um... You, I get fed very often. The only issue is, man, I always feel like game. It is just so incredibly difficult. That is why I think not a lot of people are playing this hero. Uh, because I do think she is incredibly fun. Um, well, basically, right? She combines a lot of heroes that I like from Arena of Valor. So, of course, she's going to be fun. Also, I like to do magic damage. So, this being a marksman is fun. But then doing magic damage is even more fun. Not sure why, man, but you know, I want to see those purple numbers. It's just more fun. Again, there's no real reason for it. It's just... I don't know, man. And, um... 
yeah so she is really fun but as you can see uh, late game as you probably will see late game is difficult because keep in mind you have to stack your passive before um <laughs> we just keep stealing all the kills you have to stack your passive right you pa you stack your passive uh, by auto attacking or dealing damage with abilities to the enemy heroes and um, basically you get attack speed from it and you also get more ultimate damage and the ultimate damage is really important like a late game you can't really go in with your ult without doing that i was beautiful we we were able to get out as well um, as I said, late game you won't really do a ton of damage without being able to um, stack your passive first before you go in with ult. And yeah, it, it is just, it, it isn't easy to do that. Early game it's easy because you're tanky enough, no one deals enough damage yet to just kill you. But um, yeah, late game you will get absolutely one shot by that ram, by that sandy, by everyone basically. Jiro is... Jiro is really really strong late game guys um, For those of you who watch these videos and don't really play this game Again, I would <laughs> recommend you to try it, but um, Jiro is basically Luna from Honor of Kings So that is insane. I hope I will get at least a trial card soon So I can play some games practice him and then record a video because it is really really fun to play Does a lot of true damage as well. I love doing some true damage, you know that's the only thing that I like doing more than magic damage. There we go, I steal this, thank you. No, I don't steal it. Okay. I see how it is, sir. You can have it. Don't worry. And as always, right, I always, uh, I have the best build from the Chinese server and stuff. I mean, I thought about the build as well. This seems like the best. There isn't much stuff that's better. It maximizes the... the Build and the fan club thing. If you leave, do you want to use what? Collaborative death. I think she left the game or something. Huh? I am not sure what's going on there, but that is poorly translated. But yeah, as I'm saying, um, we have the best build that maximizes movement speed. And you can see, man, we, we move very fast when we're attacking the enemies. I get the red buff, beautiful. That is really sick. Of course, this is, even though it is magic damage, still a marksman. So having red buff is really good. Enemies are getting a little bit too stomped, huh? Isn't, isn't that true? See, early game you have just such... Mid game is the strongest part, I would say. You need like two items and then you can roll over the enemies with this hero. But you will get rolled over late game. So I'm hoping we can close this out real quick and we can i think oh my god see we get one shot that's what i'm talking about though you jump in you do a ton of damage right but you just get completely one shot and if you get stunned after your ult you can't jump out so um you have to be incredibly careful with this i had the coolant ready as well i was ready to use that and jump do all kinds of crazy stuff but we did get one shot what can i say man I hope the enemies will be able to retaliate a little bit further because that will be an incredibly boring finish. I have to say, man. That would be incredibly boring if we just finish so fast. But as I said, man, from my experience, dude, I always end up feeding like it. <laughs> so uh, the enemies will come back. Don't um, rest assured of that. Go, we gotta clear this wave, man. Can we get the, the Meow Meow? I feel like we have a good team comp to get it. We have two marksmen basically, right? Uh, I will just I will just ping them. I think we can get it. We can push top first, as long as we have the toad. Oh, there's two people here. See, we can't really he can't he almost can't escape, man. That's the thing with this um, fan club setup. We are just so incredibly fast. I wanna poke here, Ooh, he, he's gonna die. Again, I have to stack my passive. This is the point in the game where you get considerably weaker. 
So we have to stack our passive. We have the best chip ever. We have our flash up soon as well. There we go. I have to watch out, man. I'm still in a 1v4 here. I, I feel like me and Siri can do that, though. She even has her Cassie on her to on top of her. Okay, I tried. I tried. Wasn't able to get him quite in range there. You have to watch out with that. Um... Ooh, nice try though. Oh, she jumped. I think I can get her here. Yep, I think I can chase her as well. Beautiful. And now she shouldn't be able to get away, I hope. Yep, with our um, fan club setup. The captain that gives us movement speed whenever we attack. It's just beautiful, you know? They can't really escape. And we have the blue buff, so we can st still keep fighting here. I hope we can end this out. Because as you can see, man, I'm getting kind of useless, right? My damage is dropping. And I don't think you can really improve this. I tried a couple builds, man. If you guys know a build that makes this hero incredibly strong late game, I would like to try it and maybe make another video. Um, but as I said, man, I checked the top five on China server that use this hero. Um, all of them use almost the same build. I picked the one that I like the most. Um, and yeah all of them felt I mean like it's basically the same build just the sequencing of the items is a little bit different sometimes they buy this before this stuff like that right so it really late game scenario is still the same man you're still gonna have the same six items you're still gonna deal the same amount of damage but this is just insane if he's able to do that and we can just end beautiful this is why Garuda is incredibly strong man and he is learning to play him pretty well man getting pretty good with those engages that like if you get that four man ult the game crashed anyway guys unfortunately i won't be able to show you the uh, damage numbers sometimes the game crashes at the end and you can just see this screen here but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this um mini gameplay i do think it's a pretty fun hero just keep in mind don't let it get too late game um, pick her if you have some other late game heroes like a Toril in your team. Usually this guy on Toril just carries late game. Garuda, really good late game as well, can just engage. And um, yeah, just keep it, keep that in mind when playing this hero. Um, let me know if you have a better build, if you have a good late game build. And um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Peace out boys, bye bye.